Hello, my name is Andrew Kaunitz, Professor and Associate Chairman in the Department of OBGYN, University of Florida College of Medicine in Jacksonville. Today I'd like to talk about early menopause and cardiovascular risk, focusing on the role of estrogen therapy. In the United States, more than half a million women each year undergo bilateral ophorectomy, usually in association with hysterectomy for benign indications. A group of investigators at Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota recently published their findings of a retrospective cohort study with a unique design. Women who underwent ophorectomy, unilateral or bilateral, from the 1950s to the 1980s were followed in terms of their risk of cardiovascular death. A comparison group of women the same age who had not undergone ophorectomy were also followed. What the Mayo investigators found was that among women who underwent unilateral ophorectomy there was no increased risk of cardiovascular death. In contrast, women who had undergone bilateral ophorectomy prior to age 45 did experience an increased risk of fatal coronary artery disease. What was notable, however, is that among women who had undergone bilateral salpingophorectomy at a young age and who had received estrogen replacement, no increased risk of cardiovascular mortality was found. These findings from the group in Rochester, Minnesota parallel those of studies of spontaneously menopausal women, including women in the Women's Health Initiative clinical trial. The WHI findings, you might recall, were that although there was an overall risk that was increased in terms of cardiovascular disease with use of hormone therapy among young menopausal women defined as women in their 50s or women 10 years or less from the initiation of menopause, use of hormone therapy was associated with a reduced risk of coronary artery disease. Early menopause, whether associated with chemotherapy, radiation therapy, premature ovarian failure, or surgical ophorectomy, young menopausal women should be considered candidates for estrogen replacement. This is not like the discretionary condition of spontaneous menopause, where the decision to use or not use hormone therapy is elective or discretionary. Young menopausal women, unless contraindications to hormone therapy are present, should be prescribed hormone therapy because without it we recognize that they'll experience an increased risk of cardiovascular morbidity and mortality. Since publication of Women's Health Initiative there's been much confusion and apprehension among women and clinicians. And I have seen in my practice a number of young women, um, younger than age 45, without any contraindications to hormone therapy, who no longer have ovarian function, but think that it is unsafe, that it is dangerous to take hormone therapy. In fact, hormone therapy is particularly important in young menopausal women without contraindications to estrogen therapy. The last point I'd like to make is that for gynecologic surgeons who are performing hysterectomy in women who are not at increased risk for ovarian cancer, if the surgical candidate is not yet menopausal, I would give a lot of thought to ovarian conservation rather than routine ophorectomy in that setting. Thank you.